Hi, Rich Spazano here with Digitally Feelers. And there have been many tutorials on doing a wall haul type of look just like this. And I was going to recreate this one, but I decided since there have been so many, unless some of you comment that you want me to do this, um, I decided to try something a little different, but using the same technique. So I'm going to uh, close this one and do File, New and doesn't matter what size. And then I did a search on Unsplash here in the stock photos for a small town. And this is what I saw. I thought that would work. And I did, I could resize it, but I'd rather just size it to the actual picture. So I did document, clip canvas, and now it just becomes the whole picture. So what we need to do in this picture, um, I would say maybe cut out some of this sky. Uh, so I'm going to get a little bit of a close-up of the sky. And I will use my flood selection tool and just drag along here. I should be adding here. Okay, so, and that's good. Because of Warhol, uh, when Warhol did his project, he was not neat about it because a lot of the colors tend to splash and he left it that way. That was kind of his technique. So I'm going to be doing the same idea with this. So let me go to this layer. First, I'm going to duplicate this original, Control or Command J, and hide it. So I'll take this layer and I'm going to mask it. So I click on Mask. And then I'm going to invert that mask. Let me deselect, Control or Command D, and then up, Control or Command I. So now I inverted the mask. So now behind here is clear. What I'll do here is I'll just take a shape to a rectangle and I'll go behind. I'll just create a rectangle and pick a color. I don't know what color, maybe we'll do a blue, a dark blue like that, and I'll close it. So, of course, the mask isn't great right now, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'll just touch it up just a tiny bit. So, I'm going to use Touch the Mask, and with a black brush, I'm just going to color in there, and if I get close up here, I'm also going to color in here because I really don't need it. It doesn't matter what's here right now. So I'm just going to get rid of the railing because he was very loose with his techniques. And I don't really need any of this for this. Let me get smaller here. Let's see. I can do click and then hold shift and click. Should do it again right here. Click, hold, shift, and then click, and then I can paint away some of this stuff. Again, does not need to be a perfect picture. I don't even care about that, but I don't like any of this here. So I'm just going to go like that and like that. And it's good enough for what we need it for. So let me go back out. So now that we have that, I'm going to go select the actual city part. That's the cities right here. And I'm going to do an adjustment layer and I'll use threshold. If I can find it. <laughs> oh, where am I? There it is. Okay, threshold. And that and now we kind of try and figure out how much of the city we want to show up. And I'm kind of liking I don't want to lose too much off the top here. I don't mind losing some of the bottom, but I don't want to lose too much. We just want to keep a certain amount of detail. So I think that's pretty good. And now I will take this and I will multiply. And now what we have is a city seeing through the background. So just for now, I'm going to turn this background white just so we could see what we're working with because I don't you can't see it otherwise so here's here's where it gets interesting below the background I'm going to add a new layer a pixel layer and I am going to take a paintbrush and it should be a very hard paintbrush and you pick the size depending on the size of your graphics so that's about what I need for now and I'm going to pick a new color. Let's start with maybe a red. 
Okay, let me get this out of the way here. And I am going to, on that pixel layer, which is underneath the building, I will start painting in red. And does not have to be exact, but let me get closer because Warhol wasn't exact. So I'm trying to keep the feel. You see how some of that goes out of line? I'm not worried about that. So I am just going to be painting this in. And you could name each layer if you want. It's not a bad idea. Um, you could say left building, but I'm just going to go through this because the tutorial needs to be quick. I'll do that. And since it's a red, I think the opposite of the wheel here is somewhere in the green family. So now I'm going to do a new pixel layer. And maybe I'll pick one of these. really want it more of a primary so maybe eh, maybe this bright green I'll try this bright green and then we'll go to the next building with the paintbrush oops I'm supposed to be picking a green there we go and with the paintbrush I am going to start painting green there we go that looks pretty good and when you did the girl, when I did the girl I showed you earlier, you do it exactly the same way. Basically, it's threshold, and then you paint underneath after you multiply the top layer. But there will be something at the end I do to just emphasize this. So stick around to the end, because I think that's important to make this even look better. Okay, so now I'm going to do another layer. And the reason I'm doing different layers is in case I want to erase one or change or, or fix something. I do it that way. And I'm going to try a yellow this time, I think. And I'm going right across here. Oops, that's not a good yellow. Undo. I must have picked a lousy yellow. Here we go. I want something kind of bright. There we go. Much better. So here we go like that. And like that. And I'm liking that, I think. So again, I'm working very quickly. Uh, I don't want this video to really be that long because people tend to tune out when they're too long. But you're getting the idea of the technique. And I do want to get to the end because the end part is how I finish it off. And I think it makes it look much better. Uh, next, I think I'll do another layer. And I will pick a blue. And maybe this building could be blue. which I like that blue against that yellow. And you see how I went over like that? Sometimes it's okay to go over, and sometimes if you feel like it's a little bit too much, you can just erase, because we just did put it on another layer. So that's good like that. Let's go back to the paintbrush, so we don't, and let's look out where we got so far. Okay, so let's do another color here. I think the blue I like a lot, so I'm gonna actually do the blue, another blue on this building right here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Close enough for what we need it, I think. And let's have, what other colors can we do here? Hmm, we can do this sharp color right here. Whoops, I should put that on a new layer. And now I could do this color right here next to the blue. And again, I'm telling you, I'm going very quickly. You can be neater if you want, but in this case, it doesn't really matter. You don't have to be neat. That's his, that was his style. And let's see, on this end, let's finish it off again. Now maybe we'll do an orange this time. So we had another layer and we'll throw an orange in. Now you can, always, you can narrow it down if you only want to keep it to a three colors. You could pick three colors. But... I kind of want to do this, so I don't care. And that was a slip up right there. I don't like that that went over that much. So I can get the eraser again, since it's on a new layer. And I can just kind of go, let me make it wider. I can click, hold shift, and click, and got that erased. And that blue doesn't look like it was covering completely. 
on that white spot so in some of this too so what I'll do is I will choose the color blue go back to that blue layer which I think is that one yep yeah. and I will paint the blue back in whoops there we go and I'm going to paint the blue back in and maybe down here and even if that background is you're showing white but it will not be white later so don't even worry about that so much all right let's work on the bottom a little let's get closer here and let me see I think maybe I'll put a darker green on this wall so let's pick a green maybe kind of like that and get the paintbrush add a new layer and I thought I picked a green there we go dark green there we go and I start painting this wall that I'll even throw some green up here now it's I'm using a mouse I'm not, I usually use my Huey on pad but for my tutorials here many of you don't have a Huey on pad or um, any kind of uh, drawing pad so if you don't I wanted to show you that it can be done with a mouse, not as easily, and it takes more time. And But in this case, it, being a little sloppy is okay. Uh, so now I'll pick another layer. Let me just save in the meantime. File, save, and I'll call it Oho City 2 because I have one before just so I don't lose my work. Okay, so I picked, now I just put another layer above that and I'm picking maybe a yellow or maybe a little tint of an orange, a light, almost like an amber. And I'm gonna start painting this one. So let's paint the street. And I'm even gonna paint all down here. Even though there's black here, I'm gonna paint the street. I'm using my bracket keys left and right. Left makes my brush smaller, right makes my brush larger. And I've showed these in many of my tutorials. I just figure some of you might be new to this channel and if you're just watching it, um, there's so many other shortcuts I've shown. You should, and so if you haven't watched any of my other videos, you should try and watch them. Just go to my channel and click there are so many especially my top 20 which was my one of my first videos and that one just i think taught so much so many techniques because i came from photoshop originally and that helped me when i was coming from photoshop a lot okay that looks good now let's how about we do some cars here so let's go back to the top i'm going to add another layer um i guess one car should be a blue let's see and I think another car I will make how about a lime green really bright And you could make the hubcaps different colors if you want. You can even do rainbow colors. You don't have to do one color, but I'm kind of sticking with the old Warhol thing. And you see how some of it goes off the lines. I'm okay with that too. And another one, let's pick a nice red. And we're gonna do this one. Like that. And then this last one, not much to paint there, but we'll paint something else there. So how about we'll do one of these purplish colors, pinkish, mauve. I don't know what you want to call it, but whoops. I don't want it to be on the brick. There we go. Kind of like that. 
Okay, so now that we got that, we go, we're going to go all the way to the back round, which was we turned the rectangle white, and let's give it a different color. And we can decide which color we think works really well with this. Is it a red, orange, yellow, green, and different shades, by the way. Don't forget, you can go in this way or this way. I'm kind of liking this blue. It's kind of really... I could even go darker if I want to make it almost an evening picture like that. And I'm thinking that's okay. Let me just try one some others. Maybe some purple. You know what? The purple's good too. I'm gonna do a combination the between the purplish and the blue. So I like that like that. So now it doesn't have a lot of detail, and I know that, and sometimes that's okay. And this is what, if you want to end it this way, you can end it this way, but I don't want to end it this way. So I'm going to take the original picture, Control or Command J, and duplicate it. I'm bringing it to the top. I'm going to show it, and then I'm going to con uh, turn it into a black and white, like that. And I'm going to right-click and rasterize it. And now I'm going to filter, detect, detect edges. And that's my edges right there. And uh, it did a pretty decent job. You can see all the grit, but I don't want it to be mostly black with white. I want it to be reversed. So I'm going to do Control or Command I. And now it looks like a sketch. And that's how you can get sketches, which I've taught before. But uh, instead now, uh, since we have the sketch on top of everything else, I can now do multiply and now you can see all the detail but it's a little bit too much so you can decide you can go here and decide how much of that detail see that's before with no detail and that's after you see how the lines are starting to come through and some of the detail on the buildings and I like the line I like the detail showing like that so I think that's a perfect way to do it so that's how you get the building you could do some other things too. So now let's do, um, let's say, layer, merge visible. So now if I click this and say Control or Command C, which is copy, or I could do Edit, Copy, and then do File, New from Clipboard. I'm gonna doc I'm gonna resize my canvas. So I'll go Document, Resize Canvas, and I want it to go out this way, so I want to double the size of my canvas here. So I'll take the 3024, take the lock off so it doesn't constrain. I'm going to be 6048, 6048, and say resize. And now I have two of them. So I can take this and I can hold Alt and just bring it right to here. So now I have two. I can also take the two of them, shrink them down, and then hold Alt again. And let's say like that. So now if I grab all four, let's just keep the size the way it was. That's good. And now I will crop this to here and hit Enter. And this one's a little bit off, I think, but that's good. So now I have the first one. Now I could take the second one and do uh, adjustment, hue and saturation, and just slide any way you want, different colors. So maybe that one has an orange sky. And then this one, we could do the same thing, hue and saturation. And this one could have... Uh, let's try a green sky and with and all these colors are different like this is now yellow and it was blue here and then we could take the next one and we can do adjustment hue and saturation and once again pick any kind make them look all different you, that one looks different than the others okay and so there you go you can do that or if you also want to add you can always do an effects and do an outline. Do the outline on the inside and bring the radius up like that. And it's very hard to see under one, but now if I do 
if I do edit, copy, and then I select all three here and do edit, paste attributes, uh, where is it? Paste style, I mean. Now they're all surrounded with black. And I guess I didn't put these close enough together, so let's just move them. And there we go. And so there you go. So let's get a close up to see what we're looking at. And I think it's kind of pretty cool. I mean, they're not perfect. I, on the edge, I need to crop a little or move these over. But I thought that was a pretty cool thing. So you could do it that way. You could do it with the girl. And I think it's a very cool effect. And I think you'll have fun if you try it. So thanks for watching. And if you found this tutorial useful, please click like and subscribe and have a good day.